Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Shogun 2 with the Honma on Legendary Difficulty. Where last time left off, things had taken a turn for the worse. Uh, this has actually been a uh, very heavily requested campaign to come back and I was never planning on not doing it anymore. I just, it's been such a busy time, Christmas and stuff, uh, doing all those Last Alliance campaigns as well, which weren't going <laughs> near, well, none of them were going badly at all. So it's like, why would I play this one like when I can have fun in a campaign that isn't going poorly at all um, but yeah you know at some point I'd have to come back to this one so here we are um, so yeah just to sum things up a little bit um, try and remind myself exactly what was going on as well we're currently on 990 income but that's a very high taxes uh, we had lost um, a cheeson which was one of our bigger money makers and I think the more prominent problem was the fact that our metzikes are getting uh, removed by this cunt over here uh one of us is actually currently gone uh yeah so i can't click on him. he's my level four guy so yeah he was making me a lot of money so when he comes back i'll hopefully as soon as possible he'll come back in sado i'll have to just probably shove him into sado because no chance i can currently sail out of here anyway um i'm building a boca boy though so i am going to be able to clean this up more more expenses great idea um all right, this is probably the best situation here, is that we, we dealt with the Ta uh, Takeda forces. I think there were like three forces, if I remember correctly, like three full stacks, and we dealt with them. Um, which, uh, good good job for me, by the way, on that one. Um, and we can technically peace out with them right now. So that's one of them we have in the pockets. If we need to peace out, we can. If I can get a bunch of money from them, that'd be great, but probably not. No. I'm probably not going to, though, because... Um, we are also war, but well, yeah, let's multiple things at once. <laughs> We're also war the Atori. Uh, they had just taken a cheese, and obviously they've got a pretty sizable, solid army coming towards Kaga, and I can't get into Kaga, so they are going to take Kaga. Nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Um, and I can't really hold this army, I think, in general, unless I had a level four general, <laughs> general, uh, which I don't. Um, so yeah, this is going to be kind of trying to stop the bleeding situation. Now, maybe I'll have to hold them elsewhere. If I could recruit a couple more units, that'd be great. But obviously, we haven't got the money for that. Maybe these two guys could come jump in. Uh, but yeah, we'll let, I have to let them take Kaga, which means we're going to lose even more money. And... Uh... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, I didn't realize that's really bad. I'm, I think I actually did realize this back then. But um, yeah, we're actually sit just straight up going to lose... Even with very high taxes, we're not going to be able to afford it anymore. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that's really bad. How the hell am I going to be able to deal with this? Um, so yes, we're going to lose at Kaga. Oh, no. Can anyone get in there besides the general? Even the general can't really get in there. Oh, God. If I could get the army in there, I'd be okay. I could hold that, even though it's a very strong army. Um, we have this situation going on here. Um where we are sieging them out but the satomi are right there now i don't know if satomi have no it doesn't look like it it doesn't look like it go they can go through the yamanuchi lands so i think we're currently in the clear from them although are they at war Satake? oh god this is such a puzzle they're not okay so they can't actually currently go through the, my vassal's land either which by the way i have a lovely fucking vassal i made a couple of vassals of course that was one of the mistakes i made but not really a mistake because i didn't really have much of a choice in this campaign because of the minus happiness from every town that we take because of the mod um anyway right so the thing is this army i had i had a choice to make we also have a rebellion just to top things off by the way uh, this place also looking like it's going to rebel, but we do have uh, a, um, a Sake Den and uh, Resistance to Invaders going away. So this place will be fine. And then I guess I can ex unexempt it next turn to make sure I don't bank. No, I can't, because next turn we have to go down to normal taxes. Oh no, is this campaign just like, how the fuck do I save this? I seriously don't know right now. Um, yeah, so basically the point being that the easiest towns I can currently take would be the Takeda ones, because we just messed them up. But I, on the other hand, I kind of need this army elsewhere. But I think, because if I peace out with them, uh, they're just going to declare war on me again later on. Also, are the Odan not going... Wasn't there like a... Uh, a call to arms, or like a, a um, threat of attack or something like that? 
listen, but you do not in Oh Jesus, this is insane. If I could just not lose Kaga, I'd probably... Well, even then, I, I don't know how the heck I would deal with this, because even if I make all the money I make right now, and the next turn we go back to normal taxes, we'd be on 821. Although I could unexempt this place, I guess, but... We got Kai that's going to... No, Kai's going to be okay. Plus the Rebellion. We could deal with that Rebellion. It's all Ashigaru. I could judge from the little portrait. This is an Ashigaru guy, which means that the, the guy leading the force is Ashigaru, which means everything is Ashigaru. And it's all melee, because there's no archers in here. Um, although I guess technically there could be a bow samurai, but I don't think there will be. Uh, but yeah, that that won't be a problem. We can hold that pretty easily. Um, one way of making more money is re removing units, obviously. But these two armies are my best ones. I can't get rid of them. This one, I'd be like, yeah, sure, let's get rid of it. But then, you know, I'm about to lose my fucking town. So I think we'll have to just... Let them take Kaga, then siege him out, and hope that I can somehow manage to win the battle with a completely inexperienced Ashigaru army versus a somewhat experienced Samurai army. <laughs> oh god, this is not good. I have a monk, he's in here, that's not very helpful. I have a ninja, he's very, very good, but I have no money. Um... Do I go and send him out to explore? So this army, basically the choice is, do I go this way and hopefully take Mino next? Which, again, can I even take it? Because it'll just rebel right away, right? That's the problem we just run into right now. I'll pop him in here, I think. We'll kill this off. And like, the, here's the choice. I could go this way and try and help out there. It's going to take me three turns to get there. By which point this army could have gone this way, and I'll be like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? In the meantime, we're losing money, right? So I'm trying to take Mino, like, Owari is a pretty rich town. I can see it's a fortress already, so we can only hope that they've built, like, a sake den slash market or something, and that will actually hopefully make it so that bankruptcy won't be a massive issue. I can't even remember exactly what happens when bankruptcy hap happens. Pretty sure it's, like, minus happiness across the board or something. At least our food is positive. So yeah, let's just go this way. I think that's the best choice we have, or the best chance we have. I need to replenish, but I also need to fucking go, so let's just move and kill it. Move as far as possible. Oh, it's our good old uh, legendary autosave popping in and making my game lag. I'm also wondering if I should put this ninja in there, just to make him move even faster. Although I probably could just get to Mino next turn anyway. But the question is, do I want to get to Mino and Owari in one turn? And the answer is probably yes, so yeah, let's just pop him in here. Hopefully I can get to both towns, because that might save me my income. Yeah, it looks like we should be able to. Um, now the other choice we have here is, do I siege this place out, and thus these guys can't attack me, because they don't have any... They're not allowed to go into the Amanuchi lands. Let me just double, triple check that, because that Teatake Amahonma, no, they shouldn't be. Because there's no way to get military access unless you're allied to someone, and they're not allied to the Yamanuchi. So yeah, they shouldn't be able to get to me. Which means I don't technically not rushed to take them out. Um, I could, because they've only got two archers, I could actually make this an... Uh, I could just do an offensive siege battle. Is this guy going to level up? That'd be great. No, he's not. I could make this an offensive siege battle, and it'll probably be okay. And I would take another town, which means my income won't be as devastated. Although I have to repair buildings here, that's super annoying. Um, but, on the other hand, if we take it, we can immediately get attacked by this army. I'd probably be okay with that though. We'd be in a town, we have a suitable number of everything. The question is how much would I lose again on this battle? These are all trashy Arya Shigaru. The, the entire army is inexperienced, it's only two archers. So overall, not a huge deal, except, of course, since it's inside of a castle, their units won't rout. So I have to kind of try and walk in in Yariwal and then, I don't know, try and get on the point to capture it, but it seems very difficult to do so. But all this is like one of the few times where I'm like, every turn that I sit here doing nothing is another turn where I'm going to be, you know, suffering elsewhere. And I'm not gaining anything. This is the army that's currently gaining. This one's at a stalemate, and then this one's trying to be on the defensive and lose as little as possible. Best case scenario, this army runs away, and all of a sudden the campaign is saved. It's, it all depends on this army, but I mean the fact that they've already moved towards Kaga can make me assume that, that that's what they're going to do. 
The only thing I can, I can try and do is see if I can pull some people into the war against them, but I don't know even know how I could do that. Or peace out with them, but that's not gonna happen either. What do you want? Although, Speak. If you value I'll happily pass them a son. Just to save Kaga right now, I would definitely give him all that I have. I have no money though, so this is all I can do. <laughs> um, I mean, I can give him infinite, but mm, they wouldn't even take that. I can pay you repeatedly. Not that much. 200 bucks a turn for five turns? No. Okay, let me just see if they would actually even take this. No. Well, then that's not gonna happen, is it? 20 turns of that? Would you do that? No. Okay, never mind then, my friend. Um, yeah, can't peace out with them. Can't peace out with the best shield, though. That one's the least of our problems at this point, crazy enough. Still, how the fuck did they take this? But that's, you know, a different story for a different day. We are allied to the Date who might take them out. Although I really would like my own province of Fukushima back because it's a good province to have. But anyway. Um, Yamanuchi were actually a, uh, might be able to come to an agreement. So Speak. could potentially peace out with them. For my sword is ready to um, take your head. Maybe if I gave him a son. Yeah, they would. I could make him a vassal too. Would that solve all my problems? It would probably just become a future problem. And this is a town I can currently take, and I do like the ability to actually take a town. Uh, ooh, what if I ask them to join my war against the Satomi? I wonder if that's possible. Speak I'd have to carefully, for my sword uh, make to them an ally, head. request join war. Satomi. Oh, that's already on. Okay, what if I give you a son? Nope. My... I don't know if there's a difference. Probably not. No. Okay, I'll give him the younger son then. Um, you have military access somehow? I don't know if that's going to change anything. No. No. Okay. Well, that's not possible. Um, so yeah, I could, I could make him a vassal. That's, that's not bad. It wouldn't help me against the Satomi specifically, but it does free up an army. Um, and I'd be I'd replenish there as well. I don't know if I even want to go in on the offensive against the Satomi. I just need I fucking need I need help over here. This is the problem right here. But do I send this army all the way back only to be attacked from the from over here at some point? Probably not. I think I do I do take this as much as I do want Kazuke. Well, I don't know if I do actually, but yeah, I mean. Another vassal, though. I've already taken the honor, plus three honor from vassals, haven't I? Yeah. Descend into bankruptcy. Right, that's a minus one. So I guess that's the... Pay oh, God, I hope that's not like a thing that com that adds up to minus three total or something. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um. Here's the thing. My heir. Is that you? Yeah. I could... Oh god, this is a terrible idea. I could make this guy my heir, which means he'll lose loyalty. But then I can make him my commissioner for finance, which means that this army will be a whole lot cheaper. And this is a pretty big army. I don't know how much loyalty you lose from making someone else your heir, though. I think it might be two rather than one. I mean, currently you gain one. It might be three, even. Um, because he currently gets one from... No, he doesn't, actually. I thought he got one from being the heir. But I don't think he does. God, this is such a fucking puzzle. I'm trying to weave my way out of here. Okay, I'm, I don't actually know. I, I don't like safe scumming, obviously. I never do it, but... Um, if this somehow makes him, like two loyalty or something and giving him the other thing back isn't going to be enough i may have to just reload but let's just try this okay it makes him free that's what i expected disinherited sorry mate here you go up to four again it's not fantastic but that will save me yeah like 400 bucks right there that's pretty good um it's definitely better than this one plus this is not even a this is just a rando general Sorry, mate. I, I will... Actually, can I make him my heir again, or do I have to wait a, a while? Um, 
He must relinquish his office if he's to become... Okay, I, I guess I can... Maybe I can do this next turn again. But then he'll probably still have minus three from this narrative, but I'll gain another two or something. He probably won't be back to six, but... We'll just have to deal with it. Um, right, I think that's about all I've... Oh, no, yeah, so then we've got this situation here. I think we are going to just do that. It makes us a little bit more money, which maybe means we stay afloat after Kaga. And then we'll still be fucked the turn after, but hey, that's a, that's a problem for future me. Uh, right, so yeah, let's let's vassalize these cunts. Um, I could make an alliance too, but I don't see why I would. Give him the younger son, who's not my current heir. Can I get some money as well? Just a little bit would help. Oof. Yes, it, we can. It's not... Maybe not much, no. But it's still... Honestly, every little bit counts right now. I'll take 100. You know what? I'll even try 180. I need this... I need every penny right now, honestly. 160? Fucking fine. 150 it is. You piece of shit. Um, okay. Now, that may have changed power level somewhat of other people. I don't want to piece out with you. Let's check out that Torrey now. Like, if I could maybe get another piece somewhere. That's a Tomi I'd love to be able to piece out as well, but that seems you unlikely. Here, like an honest man at the front gate. Mm. Better... Better that than an assassin over the wall. Right, so we're replenishing now. It's crappy replenishment in ally territory, but it's something. Um, who the fuck's this? Oh, it's just Tomi owned that as well. Lovely. And that. Right, so they own these four settlements, and then they own those two. I didn't even realize they owned these two. I mean, I must have at some point, but not right now. Okay. Now, I think I... Oof, that's rough. I think I might be forced to just... Oh, but they can't currently get to me, though. This might be the opportunity I need to send this army west. <sighs> Take like two, three, four turns just to get over there, though. Is that, is that too late? Every movement counts here. Oh, sorry, this is going to be the slowest fucking turn ever, by the way. I'm sure you guys have already realized by now. But you also must understand that this is a puzzle and a fucking off right here. Do I go on the offensive against the Satomi, which is just like an uphill struggle? Ah, yeah. If we could take them one army at a time, we'd be fine, actually. Their armies are good, but mine is fine as well, because it's got very, a lot of experience. We could take Shimatsuke next turn, probably. Although, maybe not, because our movement's fucked, but, eh, maybe. If I, if I could go through the town, that'd be great, but... Um, I could put my ninja in there, speed things up a little bit. Uh, or, and I, I mean, once we've taken that, we've got a lot of towns here we can quite easily take. As long as I don't trigger Realm Divide, that's fine. I'd love to take Izu and Sugomi as well, or Sagami even. Um, I, mix, I mixed up Sag Sagami and Satomi to Sagomi. Uh, but yeah, we got a couple of towns here that are easy to take. These ones, like once we bust through those two armies, it's fine. See, so yeah, I, think, I think that's probably the better. We just have to hope that we somehow manage to deal with this. We put up a stance here. Unfortunately, I didn't get enough money to recruit a unit because this army is really small against a full stack of this. Well, I'm only like two units down, actually. Maybe three. Three units down. But hopefully, you know, we take Mino. I might just take Mino and Aguari and then peace out with the Takeda, annoyingly, because they only have one town left at that point. But yeah, just take those and then just basically threaten the Hattori to make, like, maybe they'll come back because of that. I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna just assume I have to, you know, even if we lose stuff over there, if I can take more shit over here in the meantime, it might work out. Let's put the ninja in there too next turn. What the fuck kind of movement is that? Am I going off road? Um, right, I think that's about all I've got now, to be honest, for this turn. 1401 income. Getting a little bit more money from the Yamanushi, of course. So if we lose this, 1311, we'll still. Be positive unless some other shit happens like trade routes raided or whatever this one's already zero so we can't lose anything there in fact breaking trade with the date probably be positive for us right now i could maybe even break this oh yeah we can easily take that on get out of here dude there's my money <clears throat> i would like to finish that ship off before it comes back and does it again well that's um solved the money issue a little bit can i repair the ship do i have enough I do. 145. Hey, Yamanuchi, you paid for my ship repair. Thanks, mate. Um, could jump into the forest to try and hide, but that seems 
pointless. I actually don't. I don't want that. I want them to know I'm here because I want them to see a threat. I don't want them to think, oh, there's nothing there. We can just walk through their towns. I also really don't want this guy to die. So Oda, vassal of mine, would you please stop trying to fucking kill my Metsuke? Also, don't declare war on me because if you do, I will kill. I'll die actually probably. So yeah, that, just don't do that. Uh, it's also autumn. That's very annoying, because that means next turn is winter, so I can't even really siege them out if I take Kaga. And... Okay. Um, and this situation here too will be annoying. Let's just see what they do, I guess. Right, well... Uh, is there any money for me to be made? Nope, I already got all the good money shit. This is good, but 17 turns away. I think fire is probably more beneficial right now. Um... Yeah, tech all looks fine, honestly. Can't really complain about my choices here. Um, I've looked at clan management and stuff. It's time. It is time. Don't do it, Oda man. Don't kill my agent over there in the background. I don't know if they did. Oh, well, there it is. Date at Kiyama Satake Yamanuchi. I really don't want to lose any allies right now. Yeah, alright, fine. I'm not gonna put anyone in. Ugh, they're gonna raid it, probably. Maybe not even. They've got a lot of navies for a fucking two-town faction right there. Okay, so maybe I'm not going after Satomi, because they can't reach me right now. I may just go through their other towns. And, um, Sagami and... And, uh, Izu. Um, and just go after the Oda instead. I might lose Kai before I get there, but... Oh well, I would lost trade with them too, and their vassal income, so that's a little bit of money we lost right there. I'm glad I uh, figured out that fucking ship of ours was way better than their ships. Ooh, that's good. Yes, join me. Also, Daltori went past that they didn't take my town. What the f- I didn't even realize that. That was like ages ago. Okay. I actually- don't think I even needed to go to high uh, taxes, or very high taxes. Could have stayed on normal. Easy money. We're positive, boys. <laughs> yeah, that trade uh, seems to have cost me a lot of money. 800 bucks right there. My agent's released, that's good. Right, I do kind of want him elsewhere. Oh, is he actually already making the money? Yeah. Uh, I kind of want him over here, obviously, but so be it. Did you try a apparition attempt? Yeah, he did. Well, I can get into Kaga at the very least, so we can protect it. I really wish I could see what's going on over here, but either they stayed still or they went backwards. Maybe they already see the threat coming. Oh, that's not a problem. Go away. Uh, my ninjas are in here, which is why I've got insane vision. Can't see an army here though, so either they went this way. I believe they are at War of Matsuda. Was that not a thing in this campaign? Yes, they're at war with one of the major clans in the game somehow, the Matsuda. Twelve fucking times bigger than I am. So maybe they've gone west, because I can't see them on the path here, so that means they're either stood still, or they went this way. Or they're in the town. That's, you know, courageous. Sure, I'm not going to complain at that. This place is busted. Straight busted. Uh, is it, This is my daimyo, isn't it? Yeah. I, I have to take a... Well, I don't have to, but I really would like to take a Wari. And I'd also like to take this place just to finish them off. And in fact, if I don't see the Hato Hatori show up this turn, I may actually just, like... I may even let these places rebel. I just want to run through and help out against the Oda. I don't know if they can reach Kai in one turn. They probably could. But since they backed off as well, I could reach Shimotsuke right now. But yeah, I could also get all the fucking way down here. That's a long ass fucking move. There's not even a ninja in there. Pop him in there. Oh. I might... No, that's alright. I'll, I'll do it for now. Yeah. I can get to Sagami. Or I can get to... Ooh, I can get to Kai in next turn if I go this route. Which means I don't get to pick up Sagami on the way. But if they don't reach me this turn, it's a lot safer for me. So I think I'm gonna do that. So yeah, I'll just run towards Kai. Which means now I feel like sad that I wasted a little bit of movement there, but oh well. Okay. I didn't have to take a three week break from this campaign after all, it's all fine. But let's not say that, because it's I'm just gonna die. 
I need to get rid of this guy. I can't just put him in the town again, because as much as I want the money from that, I this guy's just going to try and kill me again. So I've got to... Yes! A prison. So he's not dead, but he's going to go all the way back here, and by the time he gets back up there, the faction will have been killed, so... Right, normal taxes. No one's going to rebel. Everyone's fine. That's good. Next time we can put him back in Kaga, if Kaga is still mine at that point. Also, we got some extra experience, which is never a bad thing. Uh, I've got two ships here now, so I could technically move this guy over now. Um, I would get there a lot sooner, but currently I don't own a Chizen, so... And I'm not plop... Well, hmm... I have a ninja here that I would like to use. Which one? Same. Let's use a shittier one. Um... No. Use the better one. I need to know if they're still there. Fuck, not enough. Next time then. Because if they have left, if they've gone this way, I can go back and take a cheese and back. Um, I think I am, no matter how unhappy this place will be, I'm going to take a Wari. Which is a lovely rich town. It's actually a it's not a fortress of strongholds. They've got shitty buildings here. They've got a market here, which... How many markets do I have in this campaign? Let's have a little cheeky peek, shall we? Sasha Nardis still needs a building. Also, you're unhappy. But that's because we had exempted you before? And now you're not... Yeah, yeah. Um, that'll be fine. We'll have to exempt them next turn, probably. That's okay. Uh, one. Two. Two. We have two markets, okay, so I can't even... I can't... I don't... Uh, uh, I don't currently own a town with um, Magistrate anyway. I think I... Did I used to own this one? Then they took it or something? I can't even remember. Uh, but yeah, we don't actually currently own one of those, so I can't recruit higher level Maxgate anyway. But I do eventually want some. I'll definitely build one in Awari, because that makes sense. I don't think I want this one here, though. I need to sack it then. This place is already going to have incredible difficulty staying happy, so... Uh, why don't you... Hmm. Why don't you go check out if the Hattori have got anything else coming? Oh, crap. Besho Metsuke. Uh, that is an unfortunate discovery. <laughs> uh, wait, where's my monk? No, my monk's over here. Shit. Um, 300 bucks for a 36% chance. I think I gotta try. Ah, I'll take that. Because uh, otherwise my ninja's gone. And I don't want to spend 500 bucks on a new ninja. So. Right. Oh, they disbanded their one unit. What's that all about? Wait, the only town they, got, they own is at this one is Noto right here. They don't own anything else anymore. How long has that been the case? They used to own some towns here. That, they were actually a big, a big part of this campaign, weren't they? They were keeping the Atori busy for ages. I remember. I remember now. Anyway, yeah, we got two towns that are incredibly unhappy. We'll have to really somehow make... I don't even know if we can keep them both happy. We'll have to possibly let one of them rebel on purpose. Uh, I got three units sitting here, but I have to keep that, unfortunately. I could build a market here. There it is. Do I have the money for that, though? Probably not. Um... Metsuke, yeah, that was the other thing. What's currently my richest towns? Kaga, then Owari, which you just took, then Sado. Okay, so let's keep you here for now. That's fine. Um, I can recruit another Metsuke currently, but I don't think I want to, because it would have to be in a town where I don't really want to recruit one. Which was, yeah, North Shinano, probably. Um, okay. This is weird now because now that I now I'm not I'm no longer feeling an immediate pressure. I actually don't know exactly what to do. I mean, I didn't know what to do just now either, but I felt like it was more clear. Could use another monk actually, but probably not. I need I need money. We need money, Dutch. Um, I think I think a market's probably not a bad idea because it is money. I also feel like I should recruit some units. I also want to build this at some point. Because that's, you know, if this Metsuke is going to stay here, I may as well more, make more money from it. If I build a market, though, I could maybe recruit another unit or two. Do I want more units, though? 
I mean, I do to keep places happy, but that's really the main, the main reason. I think the armies themselves are kind of okay. I would like to, yeah, no, I want to recruit a unit here. This place actually does need units. Um, and then I'll recruit them or build a uh, market. I keep, keep the rest of the money. I could recruit another unit or two, but um, this way I've got some money in the bank in case something happens again. I also wonder if I should now get rid of this ship. But I think what I'll do is I'll put this ship here. So that next turn, if we if I find out that I can take a Chizun back, there's no one in there, we take it, and then I can put the Metsuke on this ship, sail him over here, put them on this ship, sail it in here, and then I can just run him towards Kaga or a Chizun. Um and then I can, yeah, I, I don't waste as much time, which is a good idea. A fine idea. Now, is that it for this turn? I think it might just be. Um, yes, it just feels so weird. How did this campaign change from being terrible to being kind of decent in like one turn? Just because the Atori decided not to attack. That's the only thing that happened. And and even they got the card war on by the Oda, and that's doesn't seem as much of a problem anymore either at this point. Uh Takeda, you probably want to be my vassal. Do not but I think I'm I'm tired of you being a, a, alive, to be honest. Also, they own a town that has a stables, which they're actually upgrading already. <laughs> in true Takeda fashion. Um Right, let's do it. Let's end the turn, I think. Now I almost feel bad disinheriting this guy, but so be it. I can't actually change him back. I guess uh, family general, he must relinquish his, yeah, so I think the way you're supposed to do it, you have to kick him from office and then make him your heir. But if you kick him from office, he actually loses more uh, honor again or loyalty. Oh, he's actually gained one from somewhere. Not sure why. Um, Oh, from Daimyo's Honor, because I'm no longer bankrupt? Oh, right, the descendant into bankruptcy goes away. That's good. Um, anyway, yeah, so you're supposed to kick him from office, which means he loses two, I think, and then you make him your, maybe even free? I don't know, it's it's like... Yeah, it's not good, basically. And then you make him arrogant. I would just be losing po uh, honor all over the place. It's, it, it's not relevant enough. I feel, I feel kind of bad, but... Eh, it's a game. <laughs> Who cares? These aren't actual people. <laughs> Uh, right, uh, let's end the turn. Let's see if anything goes horribly wrong. They didn't reach, that's good, so we can reach them. In fact, they're going to take a turn of attrition as well. That's very good. The only real problem I see now, besides the Atori obvious problem, is the Satomi. If they decide to declare one of, my, on my, one of my vassals, and they just push through the vassal into my territory while I'm dealing with the Oda. But I think we'll be okay. Or the best show. I don't know if they still got an army in Fukushima, but... I mean, if they did, they, we would have seen it by now, surely. Can you make an army? Oh, fuck, they're here after all. But at least I'm in the town. Oof. Well, I can't say I was necessarily expecting that. I actually would have put more money on the fact that they'd, they'd left. But... Worst case scenario... We lose. Pretty bad. It's a pretty bad scenario that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that yeah. Worst case scenario, we lose, and the army dies. We lose the town. It's a lot of money, but we're probably able to attack them in the rear with the other army. But that would still be really bad. Yeah, no, this this would suck. Let's just not lose. That's our scenario. We just don't lose. I just um, yeah, I'm a little worried here because we have. An army of Yari Ashigaru without experience versus <laughs> Katana Samurai with experience. And experience tells me that as good as Yari Ashigaru are, um, even a an unupgraded Yari Ashigaru in Yari Wall does not beat a regular Katana Samurai, let alone the famed Hattori Katana Samurai. Although I don't think they have any stat buffs, they're just, uh, they get Kishu deployment. Um, the benefit we of course have is the fact that we're defending a town, which has towers too, by the way. Um, 
and thus we can't route, they can. That's something. I think, you know, even if we lose this one whilst losing 90% of our army, it's probably okay. Like, that's, that's probably still like, eh, I'll take it. As long as they don't have enough of an army to then come back and deal with me. Either way, though, I'll probably leave this until next time. But don't worry, I will record this right away. I'm gonna do another episode of this currently, so it will come back soon. Um, but yeah, exciting campaign at the very least. So until next time, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day and goodbye.